Good morning. We want to thank each of you for joining the New Hope Baptist Church Children's Ministry Worship Experience. We pray something will be said or done to inspire your child this week. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Does anybody believe that God will take care of you? Come on, if you believe it, I need you to make some noise whether you're at home or in the sanctuary. Come on, I want you to help me create you some space so you can give God glory. Hallelujah. We're going to bless them this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hands with me. Be not dismayed. Whatever be time. The Lord is right by your side. Don't you worry. Kids, do you like to draw, paint, color? Me too! <laughs> Let's draw today's story. What do you think? There was once a young king named Solomon. Even though he was young, Solomon wanted to be a good king, one that followed God and did what was right. One night, God came to Solomon in a dream and told him he could ask for anything. Anything? Wow! As king, there were so many things Solomon could ask God for. He could ask for money, or a long life, 
or lots of power. Solomon could ask for anything. But instead, Solomon asked for wisdom. What's wisdom? Wisdom is knowing how to make good choices. Solomon knew that if he was going to be a good leader, he had to be able to tell what was right and wrong. Solomon's request made God happy. God said, That's a great idea. And since you chose wisdom first, I'm going to give you wealth, a long life, and a strong kingdom as well. To this day, Solomon is known as the wisest man that ever lived. He asked God for wisdom, and God gave it to him. Because wisdom comes from God. Good morning, New Hope Youth. We are glad you are able to join us this morning. Today, I um, am going to have a discussion with you guys. I'm Miss Casey, and this is Micah, and this is Mylan. So they're gonna join in on the discussion with us this morning. Um, we're gonna be talking about how wisdom comes from God. And I think a lot of you know this, um, but we're gonna go deeper into this discussion on that this morning, okay? So, to kick us off, we're gonna have a little icebreaker. The instructions are for Micah and Mylan to open this candy bar, but they can only use one hand. So, let's see how they're going to do that. Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna say one, two, three. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. You only, you only use one hand. Open the candy bar. Only use one hand. Get it open. Get it all the way open. It's hot out here. It looks like it's melting before they can even get it open. <laughs> I think my I think Mylan's pretty much the winner. <laughs> Turn it around and show show everyone Mylan. <laughs> Mylan's got his open. So great job, Mylan. <laughs> now I'm gonna eat it. I know. So tell me, what wisdom did you use to get that candy bar open with one hand? That had to have been pretty hard. Just use my teeth and pull down. You just use your teeth to and pull down on the wrapper? Yeah. Okay, I, I can say that was pretty wise. Good job, bud, okay? So today we're starting a new series this week, and it's called Wise. And in this series, you're going to learn the meaning of being wise and how to use wisdom okay we use wisdom in our daily lives so we just have to learn how to use that so Mylan, tell me what is wisdom to you what do what does that mean being wise to people being wise to people Mylan, what do you think wisdom is uh, knowledge. you think it's knowledge yeah okay um when do you need wisdom in school in school Okay, Mylon, when do you think you, you need wisdom? Home. At home? Yeah, you, you do need wisdom at home, that's for sure. Who do you know that's a wise person, Michael? My teacher, Miss Shelton. Your teacher, Miss Shelton? I, I think she's pretty wise. Mylon, who do you think? Me? Yeah. Thank you, bud. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> I know um, those are very good answers, but I also know another person who is very wise. Uh, he's probably the wisest of them all, and his name is King Solomon. So let me tell you a little about, about how King Solomon got his wisdom, how he came about it. And that comes from 1 Kings 3, verses 1 through 13. Everyone speaks of Solomon's wisdom. We hear that all the time, you know, at church, in your classes. We hear that all the time. So how he came about it, he was just sleeping one night, just like you guys, you know, sleep at nighttime. And he heard God speak to him. And God granted him one wish. He said, Solomon, what wish would you like to be granted? What do you think Solomon asked for, Michael? Um, power. Power? What do you think he asked for, Myla? With wisdom. Wisdom? Okay, you're pretty good. What, what would you have asked him for? If God granted you one wish, what would it be, Michael? 
Wisdom, it will be wisdom. Wisdom. Well, wisdom, okay. All right, we're pretty good. That's the same thing that King Solomon asked him for. After David um, passed on, King Solomon became king, and he had a lot of decisions to make, so he needed wisdom. He asked God wisdom to rule God's people and to have a listening heart, because he had a lot of decisions to make. And God was so happy. He was so pleased at the request that Solomon had asked him for. So because he was so happy, what do you think he did, Micah? Uh, do you know? Give him more wishes, maybe? No, he didn't give him more wishes, but he did give him all the wisdom that he desired. He made him the richest, and he made him very, very powerful, okay? So he was so pleased that, I mean, God wasn't greedy. I mean, Solomon wasn't greedy at all. Not at all. He All he wanted was wisdom. And because he only asked for wisdom, God gave him so many more things. So, after that point, many people came to Solomon all the time seeking for justice and wisdom and many decisions, okay? All the time. I know I ask God for wisdom all the time myself. So, after hearing all of that, who does wisdom actually come from, Michael? God. Who does wisdom actually come from, Mylon? God. Okay, well, let's say that together. One, two, three. Wisdom, wisdom comes, comes from, from God. God. Absolutely. Wisdom comes from God, guys. You guys always remember that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's play a little game of who uh, would you rather. So, using your wisdom, would you rather, let's see, have, have to sing everywhere you go and sing everywhere you say? everything you say or would you rather have to dance everywhere you go which probably, one would you probably sing, sing? dance, dance. <laughs> okay so would you rather live on the mountains or live in the woods in the woods in the woods, woods. In the woods. <laughs> okay would you rather have unlimited pizza or would you rather be have a guaranteed meal all the time. Guaranteed, Guaranteed meal all the time. That's right. That's being very, very, very wise. Okay? Very wise. All right, guys. Well, I do want to let you um, tell you here that in Proverbs 1 and 7, and I'm going to pull that up and read it to you here. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay? Solomon did get that wisdom from God. He granted many of the wise things he learned and collected them. We can read in the Bible, in the books of Proverbs all the time. And it tells you just that. Okay? And always remember, remember that wisdom comes from God and you can always just ask. Okay? To make wise decisions. Okay? Now, I just want us to get together now and we're going to pray. Okay? Let's bow our heads. God, we love you, and we know wisdom can only come from you. We pray and ask you to bless you, bless us with wisdom, and to know what the best possible action is in all of the situations we may face. We know you will help us make good decisions, and we thank you for how you care for us and how you guide for us, Lord. A amen. Okay. So, we've learned a lot about wisdom today. So, now we're going to have an activity. Go ahead. Micah and Mylon are both going to get a plate of whipped cream. Micah, get your plate, please. And at the bottom, you have gummy bears, okay? So, on a count of three, you're going to both put your face in the whipped cream to see if you can find the gummy bears, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Stand up. You can stand up. <laughs> One, two, three. Put your face in the whipped cream. Try to find the gummy bears. Oh. Go ahead, Mylon. Go ahead, Mylon. Put your face in there. Don't be scared. Dig in. Dig in. Dig in. <laughs> Dig in. You find any gummy bears? Mm -hmm. Mylon, do you have any gummy bears on there? No. No gummy bears? Yummy. No? I think Mylon's liking this whipped cream. <laughs> Michael, do you have gummy bears on there? Mm-hmm. 
Mylon, I don't think you have any gummy bears. <laughs> Mylon doesn't have any gummy bears. So, Michael, tell me, how could Mylon have prevented putting his face in that whipped cream and finding out if he had gummy bears or not? Maybe looking, Maybe looking through it first? That's true, but you know what, guys? Hey, back up. All Mylon had to do was just ask. Just ask. So let's remember, like I said before, always remember that wisdom comes from God, and you can always ask questions to make good decisions, okay? We love you guys, and we thank you for joining us. We love you, New Hope family. Wait, Mylon. Bye. 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 If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Be sure to join us each Sunday for an encouraging word where we're building faith and sharing love.